Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the program. And uh, I, I recently, I recently received an email where someone had said to me they they felt it was bad form that I would even consider selling any gifts. And I gotta say, back the truck up, back the truck up. And I want to explain because I may not have laid this out, but it is so uncool to sell gifts that are given to you. And uh, I got to tell you, I, I recently received a few gifts. I received a uh, a Louis Vuitton, a Louis Vuitton money clip, which I absolutely love. It's just so fucking cool. And I also got a beautiful. Uh, Bottle of uh, Chanel de Blue. Chanel de Blue aftershave. And uh, i got to be completely honest with you there. It's... Um, i got to be completely honest with you. This is the first Chanel gift I've ever received it's the first chanel aftershave i've ever owned because they are so fucking expensive and uh there is no way in the world i would sell it there's no way in the world that i would sell this this is for me to enjoy it's for me to enjoy and to use and uh i'm going to open it on camera here because what a wonderful gift what a just just this this was given to me from a fan who she's a great friend of mine and i just love her to death and um i just want to say there's no way in the world i would ever Oh, that is good shit. Fuck, that is good shit. Ah, there's no way in the world I would... What? Did you see that, fuckers? Look at this. This is so cool. This is the Chanel. The Chanel aftershave. It's got a special top. Look at this. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Mercedes Benz. It's got that suction. I don't know how... I don't know how... <laughs> How the fuck they do that? It's magnets. It's magnets, fuckers. It's not rocket science. And uh, I would never, ever sell a gift that was given to me by somebody. Unless I really didn't like them. But uh, i got to tell you now, fuckers. I've got to tell you this now. Um, i got to tell you, fuckers. I'd never ever sell a gift. So anyone's given me gifts, please uh, please rest assured I would never sell them. Any alcohol that uh, has been given to me, <coughs> I will drink it. I will consume it. I may occasionally give one bottle to somebody in need. Like a, uh, my father was going through a separation a divorce and uh, he just needed a fucking good friend so I introduced him to uh, Glenn Livid. I did give him a gift that was given to me but we sat down together and we've had many nights where we've we've had a, a, a scotch together from that bottle so uh, <coughs> I would never ever sell off scotch or any any gifts that's been given to me so this is the Archie Luxury guarantee any gifts given to me will not be sold i will enjoy them just like you you've given them to me with love i will enjoy them and i gotta tell you fuck that chanel is good i gotta tell you fuckers someone said to me what's with the alcohol well okay let, let's just back the truck up the reason i am selling the vintage cognac and that vintage scotch I am not selling the blue labels that were given to me. I'm not selling the Glenlivet 21. I'm not selling the Glenlivet 18s. I'm not selling the Ardberg. That is all for me to enjoy. Actually, actually, that is my um, terminal illness insurance. Okay, If I did get a terminal illness or had really bad news, 
I could then open those those that's my insurance policy on life uh, as far as the those vintage cognacs and the vintage scotch they actually belong to a friend of mine a good friend Kirsten whose father recently died he died last year and she asked me to help to help sell those off and I gotta tell you fuckers <coughs> she's also the one who had the the nipple dial the nipple dial two-tone black sub and just out of interest there speaking of nipples she was actually a penthouse pet in, in you know 20 30 years ago so um there's a bit of goss for you fuckers lovely girl Kirsten love her to death the other thing is too is that we haven't had much bites on the scotches, so I'm thinking about organising a scotch night where you could buy in and have a, have a bit of the cognac. So the cognac, look, on eBay, it's worth about $900. Oh, so not eBay, on the internet, it's worth about $900. Let, let's make it $700. You could buy in $150 to come into a group and we split it by how many people come in. Let me know if you're interested. If you're in the Brisbane or Gold Coast area, I'd love to, to do that because it's a chance to enjoy a very old 1960s cognac. This is true class. So I, I'd certainly buy in one share. She wants to buy in a share. I've got Jerry. Jerry wants to buy in. So we just need one or two more and it's going to be affordable and it's going to be an experience of a lifetime. We'll even put a few nice king prawns we'll have some seafood we'll have a fucking great time and if benny wants to come along we might even have some cigars so um that's the plan that's the plan so please fuckers i never ever sell my gifts off and um that's that's a very important rule gifts are given with love they shouldn't really be be sold off regifting is another is another issue regifting is another thing and often for non-prestige gifts, it's quite okay. But not any of the gifts from my lovely viewers and fans there. So please rest assured, the Archie Luxury, the Archie Luxury guarantee, all gifts will be enjoyed by Archie himself. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Hey, and, and by the way, if you do want to send something to Archie. The email address, Dan Murphy's, has got some great specials, and Archie would love a little bit of booze before he goes to bangers, because Archie's a bit broke, because he's keeping his cash to go to bangers. See you later, fuckers!